No audio. There should be audio now. Hello, hello. Excellent. We're here. Aaron Paul's here. Kent is here. Now there's audio, because I can hear it from Aaron's computer. We can't see ourselves. Can everybody else see us? Aaron? Yeah? yeah. You can see us? Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Great. There well, we are. Okay. Excellent. We're here. So. so hi, Kent. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Please bear with us as we as we try YouTube Live for the first time. Yeah, we're we're so. very... We're stepping we're into we're a new world. We're stepping into a new world. You know, it's an it's an exciting new journey. We're gonna we're gonna do this. Hello, hi guys, for everyone who's tuning in. Yeah. So, in case you missed it, my name is Mahak. This is Brody. We are from hey. Flixel, and we decided to hop on YouTube this lovely Tuesday because every Tuesday we go to the Flixel community. Or Flixel, get oh <laughs> hello. <laughs> We, uh, we check out, you know, all the cinemagraphs that are shared by the yeah. Flixel community. So some of you might not know this, but we have a beautiful whole giant series of galleries yep. on Flixel.com, which display all types of cinemagraphs, okay? Like anything from fashion to lifestyle to workplace. And every week we see creators from around the world upload their work. Mm -hmm. And it's really great that they do that because then we have a chance to feature them, whether that's on our social platforms, on Top 5 Tuesday, um, you know, we, we do Facebook Lives yep. and like different types of lives. I so, mean, if you've been following our YouTube channel for a while, we used, yeah. to, we used to post the Top 5s onto YouTube. Yeah, a, lot, a while back we used to do and that. Every month we do monthly compilations. Yeah, thanks for stealing that from me. Sorry, I'm sorry. You've been saying I'm everything. I just, I just sit here and I nod my head. I'm so I'm just, sorry. Little, I'm just really excited. Well, here I am, nodding oh. away. No, no audio, audio still, or is that uh, maybe delayed? Storage. Keep it. Keep. Stay tuned. Maybe you're at the beginning. No. Yeah. yeah. No. You got audio. Okay. okay. We're good. Okay. So we decided, you know, let's try and feature and share more of our community's work on different platforms, mm -hmm. which is why we're on YouTube Live today. Yeah. So every Tuesday, what do we do, Brody? Well, I, I think you already said it, but. I will go over it again, because okay. now you're just letting me talk. Now you're just yeah, forcing me I, to talk. You gotta talk. You gotta tell the people. So it's Tuesday, and our favorite thing to do on Tuesday is to go over the top five, and we call that Top Five Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And we just take the five best cinematographs from the past week, and mm -hmm. we show them off. We feature them we five to one. We share it with the world. Yep. Yeah, because they're beautiful, beautiful pieces of work that we love to celebrate. We pick all our favorites. Yeah. So. Because we pick favorites here. That's we, the thing we do. Well, you know, yeah. it's. Why do you have to say it like that? There's so much love in this there community. There is, there is. I got love for everyone. I, got I love everyone. Love. That's, that's a Especially Arun. 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 Hi, Arun. Of, Bye, Arun. Bye, Arun. <laughs> Anyways, okay, uh, so enough of our faces. Enough of our We've faces. been here for almost five minutes. Let's show you guys five awesome cinegraphs uploaded from this last week, starting with number five. Boom. Cool. So. So, this is a cinematograph by a Flixel wizard. Now, if you guys don't know what a Flixel wizard is, they are top tier creators mm -hmm. who are heavily involved in our community. They create a lot. Um, they provide a lot of resources and insights to photography and into the world of cinematographs. And it's a great way to gain some knowledge into the medium itself from yeah. really talented people who are known as wizards. So this wizard is Jonathan Kane. He is a creator based in New Zealand. And uh, John Kane's been in our community for a number of years now, yeah, he's, and he's like the old guard. Yeah, he, you know, he's a he's an OG Flixel artist. So. Been around since the beginning. Mm -hmm. I, I actually have no idea because I haven't been around since the beginning. Well, he's been around for a few years, definitely. <laughs> so John Kane created this Jelly McGrath. Which is it's, really fun. You know, we like to give cute names to uh, themed cinematographs. Yeah, here. yeah. One thing you should know about us is that we like names. Yeah. We also like when artists use different cinemagraph techniques. So mm -hmm. in this one, we've got a very cinemagraph 101, very nice, uh, con you know, blend of the photo and video elements mm -hmm. of what is known as a cinemagraph. Yeah. So the hand is totally still. We've got the jelly moving. There's a clear separation between the motion and the still. It's mm -hmm. obviously shot on a tripod, which is very key for any cinematograph. It's probably the number one rule. Yeah. Really, it's the only rule. Yeah. You can go. You go, can go hog go wild crazy. after that. Go Just crazy shoot after it that. on a cinem uh, cinemagraph. Just shoot it on a cinemagraph. <laughs> yeah, shoot it on a cinemagraph. Shoot it on a tripod. Yeah. Just shoot it on a tripod. Tripod is very necessary for your cinemagraphs. Yeah. So. Brody, why did we pick this as number five? Uh, I love it. It's nice. It's simple. Like you said, clear separation. It kind of shows the basics of what needs to go into creating cinemagraphs. Mm -hmm. But besides that, uh, 
love the movement, love the like super warm, kind of festive feeling of the cinemagraph with all the reds and greens, and uh, just the whole setting. It feels very nice. Mm -hmm. feels very, very nice. And uh, I made this joke earlier, but we got two different kinds of bouquets going on in this cinemagraph. We've got a nice light bouquet mm -hmm. off in the background, and then a nice bouquet of flowers. Are those flowers? Uh -huh. I don't know. It's green stuff. There's definitely some sort of plant going on there. I'll call it a bouquet. You know, as well, I have so said. The, it's a bouquet and a bouquet. Bouquet? A bouquet. A bouquet. A bouquet Thank a bouquet. you. A bouquet bouquet. Yeah? Let's go to number four. Okay. We're yeah. heading to number yeah. four. Great stuff, John. I always love <laughs> yeah. everything you do. Awesome work. Cool. So, this Ooh, is good, a good cinemagraph square. created by a design agency called Red House. Mm -hmm. They are based in Portland, Oregon, USA. So, mm -hmm. just in case we have some people who are just joining us, mm -hmm. we're from Flixel. Hey, Carl. Hello. Nice to, nice to see you. Thanks for joining. We actually featured Carl's Cinemagraph on our Instagram yesterday. Oh, which yeah. one? Super fresh, the little lime juice. Oh, yeah, yeah. It made me want tacos big time. Yeah, it was a, it was a tasty treat, I yeah. gotta say. Oof. <laughs> oh, I want tacos now. Right? Tacos every day. We're not here to talk about tacos, no, though. We're here we're about here. Talk, talk about a... Rainbows. We're yeah. gonna get a taco. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Okay. okay. See you so, later. Everybody. All right. Bye, Brody. So, Red House is a design agency. They work with a lot of different small businesses to create cinemagraph ads mm -hmm. and cinemagraph content for social media. Um, so, what's really great about creating cinemagraphs, Cinemagraph Pro, is that you have all the tools that you need to create an awesome cinemagraph in one place. Okay. You edit. You can yep. color correct. Yep. You can crop your cinemagraph. Which, right? so which here, is probably how they got it down to s yeah. this beautiful square yeah, crop. you got this beautiful square crop going on. So square and vertical cinemagraphs are great for your social media, great for e-commerce sites, as Robert just mentioned. You know, really I, great for uh, showcasing your product. You know, he says sprinkler cinemagraph, yeah. but I think he really means sprinkler magraph. Or, well, it's a hose, you know. hose magraph hose magraph I don't know about <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, Spray them. So yeah, you can so you can uh. crop down your cinemagraph to Square, which is great for uh, you know viewing on social media and viewing yeah. on mobile devices, right? You want to use as much of that real estate as possible, mm -hmm. and it's really great for for your posts. And then you can export out, and we've got all these awesome uh, social export presets in Cinemagraph Pro, so it makes That's it really true. easy to get like the perfect length for your mp4 so that it auto plays and auto loops because every major social media platform supports video yep yeah and then you know if you get it at the right length it'll auto play auto loop yep. and you're just gonna be watching they, this this hose all day long they all support it just slightly differently yes there are little different. little differences but guys we'll, we're gonna make it so easy for you yeah. i don't know how we can make it even easier yeah. we do it all we do we do all the hard work for you yeah we try well i mean not all the hard work we, we give you the we, tools and yeah. then you guys create beautiful work like yeah. this so they're very good tools though mm -hmm. kind of like a very good hose Reliable, the hose is a tool. helps yeah. you grow. Look at you I, know I, how many how many settings do you think that uh, the head on that hose has? I'm, like eight. Yeah. That's a good that's a good uh, spray <laughs> hose or hose sprayer. It, it, you were, you I don't were know. going with something. It I was, was working. Go, I was going in all the wrong directions. Anyway, this is great. This is great for an ad. Great for social content. Red yeah. House, awesome job. We love your cinemagraphs. Yeah. Great loop. Let's head to draws the attention. Number three. Sorry. Ow. Sorry. Sorry. Number three. Thanks beating me over here. Why, you just can't do it, you know? I'm trying so I want to be like this man. Yeah. Anyway. He does so well. So this is a <laughs> Look at him. He clearly I, does well for I, himself. I know. Well, he, he can stretch like really cool, you know? You can do it. Yeah. <laughs> you got to curve your body into it too. Anyway. So this cinemagraph is by a creator named Gaston. He is based in Madrid, Spain, originally from Buenos Aires, mm -hmm. and he works as a consultant. So... We've got a really cool portrait cinemagraph. Yes. Vertical, like mm -hmm. I said, really great for social media. This is what would work on Snapchat, mm -hmm. Instagram stories. All that good full screen all, stuff. All that, good, all that good stuff. So we've got person in the foreground. <laughs> What do we, what's the motion in the background? What's going on there, Brody? Uh, some, some wonderful flickering lights along the edge of this, uh, I, don't, I, can't, I can't tell where we are, but you know, this reminds me of like a cinema or something you know those mm -hmm. like great overhangs mm -hmm. in front of theaters mm -hmm. so we got that and then if you look very it's very subtle but you also got the flashing lights of the lights in the ceiling itself not just the ones along the edge yeah so you can uh, the entire real estate of the cinemagraph is being used mm -hmm. 
Very cool. Yeah. I'm a big fan. I love vertical cinematographs. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, if yeah. you guys want to create them, just either you know flip your camera mm -hmm. to uh, to a nice portrait mode, or you can crop it in Cinema Pro. Crop, crop it down. You can, you can crop it yeah. down. I, I will say uh, a very popular crop that's been <laughs> cropping up lately. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, four five, mm -hmm. which you know it works everywhere basically. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to see it more than square. Maybe mm -hmm. I don't know. I've, I, I kind of like it better than square because it's, it's nice. just like you know it adds a little bit more. Uh, you could not do four five with this one. Mag and I had this conversation earlier <laughs> today. Uh, you know we thought about you know maybe maybe you could crop this down to four five. Uh, I think it would it would make the subject feel a little too squished and confined and like they're trapped in a box. And I also think it would cut off their hand, so. Well, that, we sure don't want would. that to happen. No. See what works for your for your cinemagraphs, for your composition. Because that's a good hand. There are limitless possibilities. Yeah, Unlimited let's, possibilities. let's go to number two. Yes, here we go. Boom. Boom, number two. This is a cinemagraph created by Jens Newland, who mm -hmm. is a creator based in Germany. And I'm just mesmerized. You know? it's, it's It really is one of the most hypnotic cinemagraphs I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Beautiful water movement. So we, we see a lot of water mm -hmm. cinemagraphs or, you know, cinemagraphs that use water as the motion. Mm -hmm. um, and they're all really beautiful. I think it's a great place to start if you're just learning how to create cinemagraphs, learn how to create that perfect loop. Mm -hmm. um, but what I like about this one is the ripple effect going on. It's kind of yeah. a different motion than what, what we're used it's, to seeing. It's a nice way to change it up. Mm -hmm. Usually we see like streams or we'll see waves, which again are all really yeah. beautiful. Waterfalls. Waterfalls. All that good stuff. Yeah. You know, nature is a great place to go and get inspired to go get, go shoot cinema rocks. Yeah. So this motion really captures your attention, especially when you're scrolling um, through your Twitter or your Instagram. This is the kind of motion that's like perfectly looped and it'll keep you watching again and again. Yeah. We love the composition of the cinemagraph yeah. as well. And I, I gotta say, to go along with how hypnotic it is, I love how weird and almost alien the coloring mm -hmm. of the cinemagraph feels. Yeah. Like the, the trees are just like too green, but in a very good way, and these like really blown out purple mountains, mm -hmm. it gives this it gives it a very mystical feeling. Definitely. I'm Am hip, I? I'm hypnotized. Yeah, That's huge, it. huge, huge fan just of this. It's gonna one. be here all day long watching the cinemagraph. Yeah. All Day. Max, okay, snap okay, out of it. Okay, we need to okay, move on okay, to number let's one. Let's go. Let's go to number one. Good <sighs> bit. Good bit, though. That was good. I, I like it's that. It's hard, you yeah. know. It's so beautiful. Oh, here's another one. Number one. Mm -hmm. So this cinemagraph is created by Mario Salichant. He is also a Flixel wizard based in London. London. Okay. So Mario, he creates some very cool concepts, but I this one I really like it. I'm, I'm a big fan because it's kind of got this like street photography yeah. edge to it and then you know the coloring is cool yeah. you see the little pop of light shows in the distance shows beautiful technique yeah. with the floating of the subject mm -hmm. and the perfection of the loop mm -hmm. it's uh this is really a master class in how to create a cinemagraph <laughs> i'd say yeah this is this is top tier work yeah. definitely um perfect loop bunch of techniques going on here mm -hmm. Like you said, the levitation. I love levitation cinemas. Yeah, they're actually. fun. They're so cool. Yeah, it makes me want to fly. You know. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. cinemagraph makes me want to fly. This is amazing. So yeah, if you guys want to get inspired by different kinds of cinemagraphs, again, we've got tons of galleries at Flixel.com. Yep. You know, you can check out uh, different techniques that are used. Um, you can check out all the creators around the world who are using cinemagraphs for their photography businesses, for advertising, for digital marketing. Super cool. We love seeing how people are using this medium. I'm gonna jump up to our face, our faces. Yeah. Hi. Hello. So, that's five awesome cinemagraphs, five perfect loops, I believe. Yeah. Perfectly loop yeah. cinemagraphs. Five out of five. Five out that's of cool. five. Perfect five, you guys. So, in order to get featured on Top Five Tuesday, which, you know, we've done it on YouTube now. We're really excited. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, Maybe this will be a regular thing. This could be. This could be it. Join us everywhere. We're taking over the entire internet. Yeah, Flixel, we're coming for you, world. Yeah. Wow. I was just saying the internet, not the entire the world. The world. Heck, no, gotta, I'm thinking. Chill. I'm, I'm thinking big. I'm thinking <laughs> you gotta big. chill. I'm thinking big. So steps. All right. Steps. So let me break down a couple steps then. <laughs> not only to take over the world, but to create cinemagraphs. First, you gotta head over to 
Flixel.com mm -hmm. to get some Repro for Mac OS. So that means you can use it on your iMac and your MacBook, or you head over to the App Store, download some Repro for iOS. You can use it on your iPhone or an iPad, and you know, create some graphs on the go, which is really exciting. So the nice thing about our apps is that you get both both apps have the same features and yep. they're both professional tools. Yep. Makes it really easy to create some graphs, whether it's your professional studio at home or if you're taking it on the go, we're here to help. We're here to give you what you need in order to create beautiful living photos. Everything you need. Everything you need. We got everything you need right here. Yep. Then you go ahead, you edit your cinema graph. And you got two options, okay, to share mm -hmm. your work. Yep. You can either export it. So when you export, you can export out as an MP4 file which is great for sharing on social media, putting it as ads, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, they all support uh, video, which is why you should be using video on social media, yep. or to show your cinegraphs in the best way possible. Or, and actually, I wouldn't say or, I would say and. Do both. Do both, okay, you don't, you so don't you have export to and you upload. So when you press that upload button, mm -hmm. okay, a little window pops up and it gives you the option to add a caption, so definitely do that. Tell us where you shot your cinemagraph, how you shot it, little fun caption. We want to know all about your work. Then you have three options, public, shareable, or private. So these are the three settings. And we recommend that you set it to public so yeah. that the entire world can see your work mm -hmm. and that we can see your work. And then we'll be able to feature it on Top 5 Tuesday, on our Instagram, this right here. on our YouTube, on our Twitter, on our Snapchat, everywhere that cinemagraphs can be seen, we want to let them be seen, so. We can only do that if you do it, you gotta upload. See, yeah, you gotta upload it. Publicly, I almost said privately. That no. would've been, no. that's so that's wrong. Exact, Don't listen to me. Brody. See, this is why Mahek does all the talking and I just sit here and nod. Yeah, you know, that's the exact opposite of what we're trying to recommend here. I know. So. I'm sorry. YouTube, check out Cinemagraph Pro. It's available for iOS and for macOS devices. Super fun, free to try, fully featured. Have a time. Um, we're also time. offering Cinegraph Pro for iOS at a special price for one month. Okay, so if, you, if you're ready to jump into the world of Cinemagraphs, head over to the App Store. You can get Cinegraph Pro for iOS at a special price and give it a try. For your first month. For your first month. It's, it's a good time. It's very good. Yeah. You'll love fun. it. You'll love it. We love it. You'll really want to stick with it. Yeah. I promise. I promise. So oh, let tacos. us know. Tacos. What's up, Carl? Carl. Oh, bye. <laughs> so... If you guys like this live, let us know. Maybe, and maybe we'll see you again next maybe week. Maybe we'll be back. It might not be us though. Yeah. Because we, we do switch it up. We might have to switch it up. Yeah, we yeah. do. We got plenty of faces here. Yeah. And they all like to be on camera. Yeah. And right, guys? Yeah. What? Oh, well. Okay. No. All right. Maybe it's just us then. All, all, there's, <laughs> a, there's a couple of people growling and grunting at yeah. us. Yeah. It's also lunchtime, so I can understand that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So guys, okay. we will possibly see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. I love you. Bye.